So what do I mean by stem cell light? Um, stem cell light is what I consider what we're able to do in the United States now. Um, stem cell light means that we can take stem cells from the body, uh, either from uh, adipose tissue or fat, or from bone marrow, and then sp uh, spin the sample down that you get into in a centrifuge and really concentrate the, the, the cells and the cell byproducts um, within a gradient within that centrifuge, and then inject that back into the body, whether it be into a joint, into tendons, into ligaments. And that is what we have to use now. Um, and whereas that is helpful, and we know that it's helpful in, in, uh, um, in some pa patients, and um, more often than not, people do get a, a decent response uh, from it, it's still stem cell light because a couple of reasons. We don't know how many cells we're actually giving you. Uh, we don't know how many stem cells we're giving you unless we assay or actually test the, um, test the sample that we take from you. And we can do that. But even at that point, it's too late because we've already taken it from your body and we, so we know how many cells we're giving you, but it doesn't mean we know how those cells are going to work. And we really don't identify those cells as carefully as we do in the laboratory. So what I mean by stem cell light is we can't manipulate the cells that we, uh, that we, uh, that we give you back. And that's because of our FDA and uh, being very careful about, um, about this phase of uh, studying uh, stem cells. And we're still early in the United States. Unfortunately, we're way behind when it comes to Europe or South America or even, uh, even Asia. Um, what they're able to do elsewhere is actually take cells, um, identify those cells as the appropriate cells. Uh, there's multiple types of cells that will be in a specimen. Uh, they'll be able to take those cells, separate the right cells out, and then clone or culture those cells over many, many lines until they know exactly how many cells there are in a, in a milliliter of uh, a fluid that will be injected back into you. Um, this gives a more standardized amount of, of, of treatment. And, and you know, I'm going to give you, you know, 10 million cells into your knee. And I could actually say that where I can't in the United States say that, um, or I'm going to give you a hundred, you know, a hundred million cells intravenously. Um, again, I can't say that in the United States, we don't know how much we're, we're, we're given. In fact, most people in the United States are not given intravenous. There, there are some reasons uh, for that, uh, and we can talk about that um, uh, at another time. But, but for right now, uh, the biggest difference between having stem cells in the United States versus stem cells elsewhere, like at BioAccelerator in Medellin, Colombia, is that we know exactly what we're giving you. We can make more standardized protocols and then we could actually study them better. Um, it's hard to study, um, you know, treatments if really the, the yield of the cells is all over the charts. And we don't know that. Uh, if you take cells from me versus the cells from an 80 year old versus cells from a 20 year old, there's going to be a significantly different yield in, the, in those, uh, in those uh, bone marrow or fat aspirates. So I'd, I'd much rather be able to say, hey, I'm giving you this many cells and we've been testing this many cells in a knee for three years and these are the results we have because it's, it's just better. Um, so that, that's why, unfortunately, I, I say what we do in the United States and I do it in my office and I have partners that do it in my office and I, there's great doctors uh, all across the United States that are doing it. I still call it stem cell light or, or uh, cell-based treatments light when you compare it to what can be done outside of the country. So uh, when, I have my, when I have my druthers and, and I have uh, people that could make the trip, um, often, often they are uh, elite athletes or, or uh, uh, professional athletes, but also other people that really want to make sure they're getting what we're telling them they're getting. That's why uh, I will send people out of the States um, uh, to get their treatments. But until then, until the FDA comes through, we'll be continuing doing what we're doing in the United States and trying to optimize what we're doing, um, but it's still stem cell light.